Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only, Thrifty Gamer 83 here. Today is April 18th, 2017, and really now comes some depressing news for third parties. Mad Cats, a pioneer in third party controllers, has basically gone under completely. There's nothing really to save it now. Even in bankruptcy, there's nothing that can be done to save it. They went and put everything they had into a, well, what could be described as a sucker's bet on Guitar Hero. They put everything they had behind the newest iteration and... It failed. It failed miserably for Mad Cats. It was perhaps one of those things which proves in all time that putting your eggs into one basket really, really doesn't pay off in the long run. Mad Cats learned that the hard way. Completely. Which is to mean that there will be no more Satek cheap hardware for PC gamers just as there will be no cheap products for third-party gamers who, like Mad Cats and their branding, and yet will not have access to it for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Wii or Wii U. It's, it's done. It's completely swept under a rug. And the other topic I'd like to talk about is the discontinuation of the NES Mini, which will drive up a high-yield collectibles market on the product, which means that Nintendo, if they do plan to release an NES Mini 2 again, as many, many companies have done, in the past with an emulation layer such as the at games sega collections or the atari flashback collections nintendo may be gauging the success of what they can slowly eke out in that consumer market as it is with the nintendo switch becoming very popular and completely going just bonkers in sales and being sold out everywhere i'm i'm completely not really stunned that nintendo cut back on the nes mini i'm stunned at how well the switch has done i am eating my own words here a fact which while i looked forward to the switch i kind of had it in the back of my mind that it could be either a disaster on par sales wise with the GameCube as much as it pains me to say the word GameCube the sales were not astronomically what Nintendo thought they would be with the Switch it rebounds from the Wii U and poor prior marketing now with all that said and done seeing how Mad Cats has just plain gone under gone completely under due to too many risky and bad investments and just trying to polish up their chops with their newest guitar hero iterations they tried to do too much with one product and repeat and repeat and repeat necessity is the mother of invention but this time this time with Mad Cats, they didn't really invent. The necessity was not there. They were just continually pushing an old, tired formula into trying to boost their sales and revenue. And with Guitar Hero, it didn't work. If they had tried this with other products, if they had tried instead of just pushing everything into the Guitar Hero naming and branding and just trying to woo customers to 
the Guitar Hero franchise, they probably would have done better. As it is, though, Mad Cats is just gone. I actually remember a few years ago, well, now, now I'm talking. <laughs> I remember close to, let's see, oh, Metal Gear Solid time, using a Mad Cats controller to defeat Ocelot in the torture room. That was insane. I had various other third-party controllers. I actually beat Ocelot once, but my thumb, my, my thumb was just playing in bad shape. But, really, to see Mad Cats fall apart after using them for so long as the off-brand name as the off-brand yet name third-party controller of choice. Wow! Wow was that unexpected. Wow did everything really go, sell, go south fast in a hurry. As for, as I said before, taking a look at Nintendo discontinuing the NES Mini. I know, I like to switch between the two quite often. The NES Mini being discontinued really wasn't a surprise or a shock. It may be a shock to some who were hoping to get it at the last possible second, but now what will happen is collectors will find themselves having to look at, well, you know, I could have gotten it someday and I could have gotten it for Christmas, but now I'll have to pay 300 bucks to this eBay guy because he, he, he bought them all and yeah, people knew it was going to happen with the Switch coming out so they waited and they bought the NES Mini and they're going to try to resell it at astronomical prices which will probably happen. It's not not going to happen but yeah, there will be those out there who will say, hey, they're going to discontinue this I'm going to keep it and you know what? The price was 60 bucks, but I think I'll put it down for $129.99. And that's the thing you have to look at, really, is how unscrupulous some people will be with the discontinuation of the Mini. It really is one of those attributes in retro collecting which you just have to look at and admit is there and at the same time say well we missed it we goofed we could have had it oh well I think in a few years time Nintendo or maybe even this year this Christmas Nintendo may bring out an NES Mini 2 just to do more profit sharing after the original NES Mini. It may have just been a large test to see how many units they could sell, to see how many were marketable, to see how many would be distributed and or pre-ordered. So, in between Mad Cats going under and the NES Mini being discontinued, the gaming landscape is just changed completely with Mad Cats. I will miss Mad Cats. They had some of the greatest innovations that were present for a third party. They had some of the best sales pitches and mock-up prices you could get undercutting Sony, but also making sure they had some form of quality assurance so that you would go back and buy a Mad Cats product. And I am just also so, so just looking to the side and saying, oh no, uh, that will mean no name brand third party. It will mean getting a third party from China, which name you can't even begin to pronounce or enunciate, but hey, 
it's the same with Mad Cat. So, you know, win or lose, it's just about the same controller. Maybe without customer quality assurance, but you get what you pay for. Alright, folks. Rant, rave, love, hate. I've had a lot of fun making this video. Oh, if you want me to cover another topic, just put it in the comments section. Have a good one.